How is everyone doing? I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV, and welcome to a new video segment for this channel. I've been thinking to experiment with some new things, and I thought reaction style videos could complement this channel. So I'm hoping that it's going to be something new and fresh for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video, smash that like button. Help me get more than 500 likes for today's video. And of course, shout out to Tiggs for letting me use this compilation for this reaction style video. In the card above, it's gonna be a link to his channel. He does some of the best football compilations on YouTube, so definitely check him out if you haven't. And obviously you guys can see, I'm gonna be reacting to Higuain's time with Sari at Napoli. I think it's gonna be really interesting because I feel, obviously with him being a new signing, it's the best type of video to react to because we can get a better understanding how Higuain might be playing for us. But obviously, yeah, getting straight into things. Obviously, the effects that Tiggs bring, they're always on point. I need to really get better with my editing, but Higuain, of course, it was his best season for Napoli during that season. And, you know, I've seen quite a few goals he scored. I've even watched a few games during that time. So it's going to be a nice video to watch because I can really get that, that refresher to see you know, just how good he was that season. But already that, you know, on the last line, holds off a defender, great finish. And I think that's what I like about Higuain during that season, you know, extremely clinical. He doesn't need five chances to score a goal. And it's no surprise, you know, when you hear Hazard's statement in the press today, talking about the fact that, you know, finally we've got a top striker playing for us. He said the last time he played with a top striker was Diego Costa. I mean, look at that goal top bins look at the variety in his finishing look oh great running style and that's a low-key underrated part of Higuain's game he can carry the ball he can skip past opponents I mean the guy's South American let's not forget that great ability and he knows where he's going to finish that look oh it's just it's going to be so exciting it's going to be so exciting to see Higuain play for us I really feel like he could be that that finishing article that we do need for this team. We do all the good stuff. Our build-up play is fantastic. Our pressing is quite good. I think we could be much better when it comes to that. But in terms of our overall game, playing under Sari so far, I think we're doing well. But it's translating all that effort and work into goals. And that's what we're struggling with. You know, Giroud isn't that striker. Morata isn't either. But Higuain, you know, he's used to playing this type of football where he doesn't need to touch the ball as much. He's comfortable playing there. And he's a tremendous striker. Left foot, right foot. I mean, look at the goals we're about to see. I mean, look at that. It's just, it looks easy. But we've had strikes that make the easy things look really hard. Look at that intelligent movement. Ah, oh, just look at that movement then by Higuain. Now, when do you ever see Murata do that? <laughs> like, it's going to get back here again. Look, look. See, loses the, he loses his marker. Now, tricks him. And you don't see Murata doing that. If that's Murata, he's there and he's offside already. So already that type of ability that's going to be added to our game up front is going to be exciting. Great poacher's effort. It's great. You know, I want to see more of those easy goals scored because it shows me that this striker knows what he's doing. Sometimes I think with Giroud and Murata, do they try and hide in the game sometimes? Oh, great first touch. Bottom left. It's effortless, but... But we've been seeing strikers that make the easy things look really hard. Last line again, it's that finish. It's always away from the keeper. Ah, oh, honestly, you guys, I think Higuain could be that guy for us. I really think he could be. Great first touch. Ay, ay, ay. Obviously, it sounds like I'm really gassing it. Of course, you know, we're all football fans. We get excited when we sign a new player. Great player again. Ah. Oh. It's just top class forward play. You know, this is something Diego Costa would do. You don't see Morata do that. When's the last time you saw him hold of someone and take a shot from outside the box? You know, Higuain, he knew exactly what he was going to do with the ball before he received it. Held off the defender, very strong. Held him off, shifted him. Bottom left corner. This is world-class striking ability. That's what Higuain said, you know. He's not the type of player that you know, has like a dance routine when he celebrates. It's the passion in the moment. And in my opinion, they're the type of celebrations I prefer. I like that, you know, I like the celebrations from the heart, you know, not this choreographed stuff. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Obviously, sometimes I like and retweet it, but nah, it's not really for me. Oh, I mean, oh, when he scored that goal, 
That was the game I watched on TV. My God. Like, imagine you're scoring a goal like this to break the record in Italy. Incredible to score his hat trick as well. Unbelievable. Look at the confidence. You know, Higuain, when he's fully confident, he brings you magical moments like this. Now, I know, in a sense, he can be a bit of a frustrating player, but in my opinion, I feel like a lot of people base their judgments when they see Higuain playing for Argentina because let's be serious, how many people are watching him play for Real Madrid? You know, all teams like uh, Napoli as well. Yeah, not often. So I think that he does get judged pretty unfairly, but the guy's record speaks for itself. 264 goals in his career so far. Morata and Giroud will never ever get anywhere near close to that. And I just think that, again, Higuain seems hungry. He seems hungry now. You know, he's spoken about the fact that he likes that sorry, has so much faith in his abilities. Higuain knows that he's played his best football in his entire career under Sari as well. I think it's a match made in heaven. I think that this could work. Now, the only thing that I worry about sometimes is the quality of service. I don't think we're a team that really does the most for our strikers. I think we can make it a bit hard for them. I look at our fullbacks. Hopefully, Emerson plays more. I think that Higuain could really profit from Emerson's abilities down the left. But let's hope that Sari is going to do that. You know, let's hope that Ruben becomes our number eight because this guy creates more space. I mean, you're someone like Higuain. When you're playing as a poacher, leading the line, you do need the space afforded to you because you're not really touching the ball. Your game sort to influence it. You only influence the game by scoring a goal. So it comes down to the rest of the team having to carry in that sense. But obviously, if you do with the top class finishers, they're going to win you those games. So again, I personally feel that Sarri is going to have to embrace them. I mean, look, they have about four players in the box then. Look at that service from the fullbacks. When's the last time a fullback really uh, assisted one of our strikers? It's been a while. So I think this is what I mean by we have to help Higuain out. Oh my God, what a finish. What a goal. What a goal. Now, if I was reacting to this a few years ago when we had guys like Drogba and Anelka and Costa, would I be getting as gassed by these finishes? I mean, yeah, of course, a few of them. I mean, outside the box. This is what I like about Higuain. His, his overall game is good. His hold up play, he can beat a man. Outside the box, inside the box. Look at the movement. First time finishes. I think that he's like Diego Costa for me. They're very good with their first time finishes when they're not reacting, when they're just playing off their reactions. I think that gets the best out of them because I think that in the moment, they know what they're gonna do with the ball before they receive it. And that's why they're so clinical. I mean, look at most of the goals he's scoring. First time, first time, first time. And to have that technical ability to always keep the ball under control. You know, it's a hard talent. It's a hard skill to have. Great finish. I mean, yeah, Higuain, I mean, I know people will take the piss out of his weight and that, but it's what he does with his feet, in my opinion, you know. I think playing this type of football, he doesn't have to run like crazy. Obviously, he's 31, but you keep forgetting, you know, modern day football is different. I mean, look, another first time finish, timed his run perfectly, you know. And that's how, basically, Higuain's run made that goal then, because if he didn't make that run, that pass isn't getting made. Damn. This is what I mean. Look at all the top teams he's scoring against. You know, goal against Inter Milan. People use that against him, but I don't think it's fair, in my opinion. It's, it's not as fair to, to really criticise him for that. We're seeing what a fully confident Higuain can do. I mean, it's a world-class goal. Look, that control on the half volley with the left foot. Good Lord. Like, I'm hoping he's going to play on Sunday. That's what I'm hoping for. Honestly, I think he can get a goal or two in that game if he plays. Flipping out. Um, will he take penalties for us? I don't know. I think with Hazard here, I mean, you know, we want Hazard to stay. It would be pretty dumb to try and take responsibilities away from him. But I'm sure Higuain will understand because he's, he's only here on loan. Great. Look, the running... Again, from what I'm seeing already, you know, with Higuain, a lot of times, the reason why he scores is because of his movement. He creates the options for the pass to get on the end of it. We're seeing it time and time again in this compilation. Of course, shout out to Tiggs. His compilations, it takes so much effort. He does them so well. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm able to watch every goal that Higuain scores 
uh, for Sari when he was playing at Napoli. I mean, this is crazy, you know? So obviously shout out to Tiggs for putting this effort in and thank you for letting me use this video again. One, two, of course, bottom, of course, bottom right. Like we all saw then, that ball was gonna go in the bottom right. Now when you look at guys like Jaria and Maratta, when they're on the ball, you don't know where the hell they're gonna shoot. You don't know. They don't have that type of control and finesse in their game. I mean, look, not another first time effort. This is this is ridiculous. Like this is a this is a talent, you guys. First time, first time, first time. How many times do you see Giroud overplay it? I mean, yeah, he's got a decent first touch, and that it helps. Murata as well. Ah, oh, you know what? Finishes on the angle, then tight acute angles. They've always been my favourite type. It's like kind of you know like snooker. You know that that accuracy. You can see the skill behind it because you have to really put your foot. The weight has to be really on point when you do that. And it's like the perfect weight then in the bottom right corner. I need to see that goal again. I used that I used to like uh Miroslav closer because his like finesse finishes in that sense were amazing. You know, there was one goal he scored for Germany in a friendly, it was like the outside of his right foot. One of the best finishes I've seen. I mean, on the last line, you know, look at his movement. He's not predictable. Like he's not just in the middle scoring from these shots. He's on the left, the right, you know, he's deeper sometimes. I mean, this is why Hazard's excited. If Hazard's excited, we should all be excited. Yeah, let me just play that one again. Great pass, great first touch. Boom. What's a goal? What a goal. Dang. Great finish again. That right foot, that finesse. You know what, I'm a bit of a purist in that sense. I like like the classic goals. Look at that kind of left foot bottom right corner. That takes skill, you're not just blasting it. You know, you're, it's full control of the ball to place it where you want it. Of course he's scoring this, of course, of course. I mean, what a, fan, what a ridiculous season he had this year. I mean, amazing. And it's like, he's playing with Sari now. They're both excited, they're both hungry. What, another finish again? That's what the top strikers do. You make the space for them. Let them put it in the back of the net. I'm just hoping the rest of our team are going to really give him the service he needs. Because I think that there have been so many, and every game we've played, we've created one or two great chances that should be goals, and they haven't come. And I think with Higuain here now, that should be the answers uh, to our issues right now. And hopefully that's going to be the case. But you guys, you know what? I'm going to end the reaction here. I could go on forever. I might do another one later on. I hope you guys enjoyed something different in today's video. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV. Signing out.